are continuing with where I left last time and we were a lang line graph language. Today is going to be a continuation of where I left. So if you are watching this video for the first time, then I would like you to go back and watch that one, the line graph language. And when you watch and you continue with this, because today we are going to solve a question, a typical line graph question. So you'll be able to apply what I taught previously. So today I want you to actually to share as you have been doing, share this broadcast, share so it reaches others who are also preparing to write a test. I am so delighted to see uh, any, uh, some of your, your results. Some of you have sent in your, your results and I'm so delighted to, to, to hear your testimonies. Some of you say it is really helping them. You watched my videos and it, it is helping you to pass. So I'm so delighted for that feedback. So I want you to continue to follow and then apply. Watching the videos without practicing, then it will better you didn't watch. So if you are going to watch these videos, then I want you to practice. It is when you practice that you be, it, will, it will benefit you. Okay. So practice, practice, practice. So thanks very much. So I want you to hit the subscribe button. And uh, uh, so anytime I come online, when I post a new video, you'll be notified. So thanks very much for your support by subscribing. Then um, we can go straight to our slides and then we look at um, a line graph question. We solve one line graph question today. So this is a typical IELTS question here. And it says you should spend at about 20 minutes on this task. The graph below shows the consumption of fish and different kinds of meat in an European country between 1979 and 2004. So it says the graph below, this is below. Okay. Summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant. So look at the keywords, summarize what the information select and report selecting and reporting what what are you reporting the main features main features and then says make comparisons where it is relevant where relevant make comparisons you are writing at least at least 150 words this is the question you are spending 20 minutes now you go to the graph then you have to analyze the graph. If you are going to solve the question, then the first part of before of answering the question is to analyze the graph. Analyze the graph before you start writing. So in analysis of your of your graph, you, have, you must understand the, the essay structure. Okay. So the essay structure, you know that in paragraph one, we are are, it has two parts paraphrase of the background statement and then the overview okay so we want to get the overview we want to understand the question okay so if you come to this graph we want to know the overview and then the main features what are the main features these are the main features this is the key so always search for the key okay the key so this is fish, this is fish, this is uh, lamb, green, this is beef, and then the last one is chicken. This is chicken, okay, if you're following the cursor, all right. Then, you know the main features, so select and report the main features. You are reporting the main features, and these are the main features, the lines are the main features. Then. On the x-axis or horizontally, you find the period there. The period there. Sometimes you might not find the period in the statement, the question given. But when you are right 
summarize um sorry when you are paraphrasing the statement this statement you are supposed to add the period sometimes you might not see it in the question but you might see it on the graph you have to add it the period then on the vertically or the y-axis you see the unit okay grams per person per week grams per person per week now um you have to group your data see to be able to answer paragraph two and paragraph three you have to group your data okay group your data into two main groups okay or if there are many whichever groups you want to do it but group it if you can find a way to group your data into two so here from beginning to the end i'm looking at the increases and the decreases so group increases and decreases so you're grouping increases and decreases so the increases you have chicken so chicken will go to paragraph two a report chicken in paragraph two and then decreases lamp beef fish and uh, lamp beef and fish in paragraph three but i have to also make comparisons where relevant okay so i'll report the details of increases in paragraph two and then the details of decreases in paragraph three so these decreases are these three meets okay so this is the structure this is the structure now when you come back to the overview the overview is actually the the we we'll say if it is like a task two let's say we say the some the, the tc statement so it is it is that it is the general or the overview of of the whole graph what you see at a glance what are the what is the most important information the most outstanding data here the trends so if you look at this if you look at the end you realize that chicken most consumed that means the most preferred meat by individuals every week okay now we look at the beginning to yes beef highest consumption but declined so throughout around from the from, from the first period began to de 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 decrease then you come to the lamp there was also a decrease fish also still a decrease so you realize that this three me this this uh, beef and um, lamb and chicken there was, a, there was, a, there was an in, a decrease okay then you come to the chicken that's where there's was a, as an increase so you can group this under increases and decreases okay now also find a way to make comparisons which parts do you want to compare like in the first stages this you can compare beef to the others okay you can compare beef to the others you realize that chicken and lamb the values were almost the same okay so it's also a form of comparison then the end to you can compare or the middle stages to you can find a way to compare okay where you want to compare it is up to you but do not over compare it should be too much okay so i've put some details here chicken was consumed beef favorite in 1979 beef fish and lamb intake decreased so fish the least ingested or eaten okay so you have found a way to compare so i'm going to put this data as uh, write this data or this information as the overview and that is what you see at a glance do not add your personal interpretation to the graph for example like fish you want to know what type of fish what you know here is fish so we the, the graph didn't make specific uh, didn't specify whether it was mackerel or tuna or it was um, shrimps what you know is what fish all right the type of lamp we don't know the type of beef we don't know okay 
So what you see is what you report. Now, after doing all the grouping and an analysis and all that planning, which information goes into which paragraph, the next step is to begin to what? To answer the question. Begin to answer the question. And you know, if you follow the structure in paragraph one, which is the introduction, you paraphrase the background statement and then you write the overview. So that's, these are the two main parts. I don't mean two main sentences. I don't mean two sentences. You could have more than two sentences in the introduction. But I don't mean two sentences. I mean two main parts, two main sections. So the first section is to paraphrase the background statement. And the background statement given is this. The graph below shows the consumption of fish and different kinds of meat in a European country between 1979 and 2004. So an European country. So an European country. You don't know which country. So we don't need to uh, be specific about the type of European country. We don't know which country. Wherever you see shows, you can replace it with words like compares, illustrates, delineates, demonstrates, okay, or displays, displays. So these words are synonyms of shows, which you can use. And then uh, consumption, you find synonyms of that. Okay. Now, we are to paraphrase this statement. Okay. So, it says the graph below. So, we don't have to paraphrase below. It is just telling us where the graph is. So, when you are paraphrasing, don't add below. Then, the, it says the graph. Yes, you can still maintain the word graph, but what type of graph is, is this? This is a line graph. So specify the type of gra graph. So the line graph. So say the line graph illustrates the amount of fish and three types of meat. So different kinds of meat in the graph, in the question, and different kinds of meat. So I've, I have to put, uh, specify the specific, I have to write the specific uh, meat, lamb, beef, and chicken. It is in, the, in 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 this graph. So you put you you make sure you've captured that. So the main features should be there. So that's what is in the bracket. So the line graph illustrates the amount of fish and three types of meat, lamb, beef, and chicken in a particular nation in Europe from 1979 to 2004, or you can say between 1979 and 2004. You can. Also choose to add the unit of measurement as part of the first sentence. So you can say the amount of fish and three types of meat, bracket, lamb, beef, and chicken in grams per person per week. Or you can also choose to write an independent sentence uh, for the unit. So here the way to do it is to say units are measured in grams per person per week. Units are measured in grams per person per week. Now you've paraphrased this. Now the next step is to write the overview. The overview is what you see at a glance. So the most outstanding information. So report only the most important or the most outstanding information. And the way to start overview is to write is to use the word overall. Overall. Some write in general. It is evident that I will I encourage you to avoid that because most candidates are using it. To your, otherwise, your essay will sound as if you have rehearsed. Okay, do not use rehearsed words or phrases. Now, um, so overall is okay. Overall is okay. So is it overall that shows that you are writing an overview. Overall, chicken was the most consumed meat, whereas fish consumption declined over the period. However, be however, beef and lamb intake decreased. Okay, so you have written the overview. The overview should not necessarily be one sentence. It can be two sentences. Okay, so 
this is the overview. You don't have to report specific details of the chicken. Let's say in the 2004, it was approximately 250 grams. So we don't put those specific details in the overview. But for the period, you can add it if you want to. The period, that is the years. Okay, 1979 to 2004. You can add that if you want to. Okay, so that is the overview. So whoever whoever pays your essay knows that this is what is entailed in the graph. So it is more or less a summary of this whole essay. That is the summary. That's what you find at a glance. Then the next step is to follow the structure. So you are following the structure, paragraph two, details of the increases. So as I've said, you can group your graph by increases and decreases. So which ones are the increasing chicken? So I report chicken in that paragraph. So paragraph two, I'm going to report only chicken. So I start from the beginning. I have to start from the beginning. So this is chicken. So you start from beginning, 1979. This was below uh, one. This is about below 150. So say approximately 140. Then it increased until it overtook beef. It overtook beef in 1994. Okay, at whatever figure is here. So let's say approximately 170 or 180. Then and then it increased dramatically to 250 grams in 2004. So here. We can report that and say in 1979, chicken consumption stood as the third favorite meat. Okay, and the consumption experienced a dramatic upward trend, overtaking beef in 1994 and emerged the most ingested at over 250 grams in 2004. So you look at this. So you look at this. The third most consumed. Then 2000, 1994, got the value here, and then 19, 2004. Okay, so you don't have to report each and every stage, each and every year. No, use general language to report the figures in ranges. Use general language to report the figures in ranges. Okay, uh, you can also choose to divide the data into three and then report. Okay, first, second, third, but use the uh, general language to report figures in ranges. Okay, you don't have to report each, every section, each and every year you report to know. Okay, now, after that, you move to the decreases. So the decreases, the decreases, so because I'm going to decreases, I'm going to contrast. So that's where a make comparison is where relevant. That's where it comes in. In contrast, some contrasting. Majority of the people ate beef at the beginning. So in the in 1979, at around 250, 220 grams, declined to approximately 160 in 1984 and rose by about 10 grams the following year. That's 1989. After which consumption plant to the end of 2004 at nearly 130 grams. So we are on beef. beef. So if you look at beef, go back to the graph. Beef is the green one. So the, the first year it was the most consumed meat, declined to this figure here. You can make approximation, then increase slightly then before decreasing gradually to 2000 in 2004 at around let's say 130 grams per person per week okay now you come to this part you come to this part and then um, you report the next one which is lamb and lamb it says exactly 150 grams of lamb was consumed each week by individuals in 1979 but at the end of 2004, consumption had dipped to almost half of the figure in 1979. Okay, in 19, 
79. So if you look at LAMP2, follow similar trend. So LAMP is the red one. You see, the figures for LAMP and uh, chicken were relatively the same, relatively the same. Now it declined, was what 150 declined to about uh, so we say this is about uh, 70 or 80 or even half of that. Okay, so you use language to report everything in ranges. In ranges, it's not all the parts that you have to report. You have to ignore some of them. The examiner will be looking at your ability to ignore some of the information. Even though information which are not relevant, they will be expecting you to ignore some of them and use general language to report them. Finally, fish was preferred by a few persons with nearly 60 grams in 1979 and along the years, ingestion decreased slowly to a little below 50 grams in 2004. So you look at fish, if you look at fish, look at this, the most in, uh, the least ingested. So the consumption was really relatively, uh, was low, was it declined just slightly at the end of the period. Okay, the rate of decline was really, was quite steady. Okay, so you use general language to report this beginning and the end, that is all. Okay, so um, you can you can read the essay again. You can read it again. You can go back and then look at the the graph again, and then or you can pause the video and then you watch again. All right, but let's uh, uh, look at some few information in the graph. Okay, so if you look at this. Uh, I've used words like however, say just to contrast information and then use overall to refer to overview. Okay, then in 1979, which means I'm referring to beginning of the period. Okay, and um, when I am reporting the figures to, I use approximations at over. Okay, then around, let's talk about approximations, approximately, all right? So decreased, I use the right languages, like plunged, okay? F following year, these are all linking phrases. If you know the exact figure, you can say exactly, all right? Then the, um, approximations, again, nearly nearly so uh, uh, you look at uh, third favorite third favorite meat okay so you are you are still comparing you are still making comparisons so you can make comparisons well relevant here in this particular sentence, I, I said decreased slowly. So I am what sentence structure I'm using. Um, I am reporting this information using what the uh, degree, what do you call it? The speed of change, slowly, speed of change, speed of change. Okay, then you will look at a dramatic upward trend, which is a good language. Dramatic upward trend, which means a dramatic increase. So here I'm applying degree of change, degree of change, so the, the amount of change, a dramatic one. Okay, so use different, use diverse sentence structures. Okay, so this is how you report this type of graph. So we, I was just teaching. Uh, line graph essay so i want you to share and uh, you can put your comment or your questions in the comment section i will answer them so I'd like you to share share this video with those who are preparing to write the test share 
on your various platforms so that it reaches those who are preparing to run the test so they will also um, have this important information to study and prepare. Finally, I would like you to practice. Get more questions and practice. Practice or what is what will make you master the test. So practice, practice, and practice. So finally, all the best to all those preparing to write a test. Thanks very much.